Hi all, this video is going to be a complete walkthrough about grid war fusion effect in DaVinci Resolve. Grid war will add a grid across your video which can be used to warp your videos. So let's jump to this video. About the node structure, you can add this node after the media in node that you like to warp. After adding the node, a grid will be formed in the weaver. You can move the points in this grid to warp the video. Now on to the options in the inspector section. First option is the show option. There is two things here, source and destination. Source will allow you to move the grid points without warping the video. While in destination, grid points that you move will warp the video. You can use this option in scenarios where you want more precise to warping. You can use the source to adjust the warp point first. Then you can use the copy source to destination button. Then from the destination, you can warp the video with your modified grid. Next option is the magnet type. Magnet type controls the pointer that you use to move the grid points. Selected will only move the points that you select. While in region and magnet, it will move points in a region, shown in the red circle. Difference between these two options is that, magnet will only move the point that is inside the circle. So, if you are moving two points at the same time, but come across another point, then the new point will also be added. And if any other point leave the circle, it will be discarded. While in region, it won't happen like that. In region, only the points that you selected at first will be movable. Magnet distance controls the region's size or the circle's size. Magnet strength controls how much the points will move when you try to change the points. It can be used to make more precise warping. By using X grid size and Y grid size, you can increase or decrease the number of points in the grid. Things to remember is that changing these two options will reset your warp. Subdivision controls the smoothness of the warp. Lower value will sharpen the warp while higher value will make it smoother. Center can be used to control the position of the grid. Angle will rotate the grid. Size can be used to increase or decrease the size of the grid. Now on the edit drop down. None will remove all the things shown in the viewer. Edit grid will show the grid. Edit rect will show a rectangle which can be used to control the center, size and angle from the viewer. Edit line can be used to create a custom grid. Things to remember is that when you use edit line option, you should first change the mode to source then create the grid, then copy the grid to destination. Also, after using the edit line, the image will be cropped. At that time, use merge node and connect this grid warp to foreground while connecting your media into background. After choosing the edit line option, from the viewer, you can draw the grid that you like. Point tolerance can be used to increase or decrease the number of points inside the new grid that you created. Oversize amount will allow you to add border to your grid. Snap distance can be used to snap the points to the line that you created while creating the new grid. Set mesh to enter image will reset the grid to original dimension. Copy source to destination will copy the grid from source mode to destination mode while copy destination to source will copy the grid from destination to source mode. While using these two options, it will copy all the settings related to the grid. Lastly, right click here for mesh animation can be used to animate the grid warp. By using the keyframe icon, you can add keyframe then you can animate the warp. So that's it. That's all about this grid war walkthrough guys. I hope you guys find this video useful. If you do so, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.